there is still quite a bit of preparation work to be done before fitting the berth framework and base panels. Well, I do try to remember all the little things along the way, but something's always going to be missed. Golly, that is incredibly strong. Well, it's going to be a little bit difficult to film because of the space being a bit cramped. Okay, so I've got this single berth apart for the last time. So them's the breaks and the prices you pay when you make a bit of a cock up. This was the final dry fit to work out where the beams and panels lined up. Golly, that is incredibly strong. It's only just been glued, and honestly, that is so strong. And that's just one beam, not connected to anything else. Well, I do try to remember all the little things along the way, but I just figure something's always gonna be missed. What was missed here was this insertion rubber to be placed between that engine floor stiffener and the bracket on the diesel tank. A little omission, but thankfully it's an easy fix. All I'll need to do is loosen off those nuts and I'll be able to just shunt that tank forward a little bit, poke them in and then do the nuts back up. The only thing I'll be missing out on is these won't be adhered to those stiffeners. Should I ever remove the tank in the future, I'll try and remember to put some adhesive on these little bits. I guess it goes without saying that with the vibrations, particularly in this area with the engine right here, having metal on metal is just really a no-no. Obviously, particularly if anything is a little loose, metal on metal will rub off whatever paint is there. And of course, 
corrosion will set up. So as far as I'm concerned, all metal really should be separated by some insertion rubber. So fortunately, that's an easy fix, which I'll do now. Well, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to film getting these little posts in to help support this single berth. Because of the space being a bit cramped and tricky to get the light in the right position with my body <laughs> getting in the way of everything. So I'm just pointing out that what I've got to do is I've got a little post just sitting there at the moment down there near the foot end of the berth. You can see that, that's got to go in. I've got two more here, different lengths. And so I'll be installing them now and each one is going to be different. The foot end one, I'm just going to adhere top and bottom. The middle one has a bolt going through the frame down the bottom there, and then it'll be adhered on top. And then this end one here is going to be adhered at the top and then bolted with a coach screw at the bottom. The same as I did with that other side under the cabin two double berth. Okay, so I've got this single berth apart for the last time. You'll see in a moment that I've taken the berth base itself out with that rosewood attached. Reason being, I just wanted to show that where those cleats pick up on the actual berth base itself, I've sanded all of them back, wiped them with a cloth, put on the Fix 15, and that's one, two, and then that third one down towards the foot. Likewise, I've sanded and wiped down where it's going to be contacting. And so that berth base now is ready to go back in. Also, as can be seen, that post is there. That coach bolt is almost all the way in. Fixed tech top and bottom. As Soon as that top goes in, I will put that in place and bolt it up. Just a quick word mid installation of the cabin two berth framing and panels. As you saw, I've now got the foot end in, and so the next piece to go in is the base, but not really. I made a mistake with this end beam. I actually made a bit of a mess of the lap joint here, unfortunately, which involved needing to make an extra cut, which meant putting a filler piece in to fill in the gap. It looks a little bit untidy, not exactly proud of that, but it's epoxy glued up 
and once it's in place and glued up as far as strength goes there'll be no loss of strength but unfortunately I really need to get this beam in here before I can put that base in and more importantly because I actually could put the base in and I had thought about just putting the base on top leaving it loose and putting this beam in later so that I can get on with this bulkhead but I can't get this beam in and fix it with the bulkhead in. So them's the breaks and the prices you pay when you make a bit of a cock up. All things considered it's a minor mistake. I've pretty much fixed it now but I do need to wait for that epoxy glue to go off so that I can just finally shape that little filler piece, sand it and get some epoxy on it. <laughs> Stay tuned in the next episode for part two of the main panel parts for cabin two and the port quarter. Well, there's something that I'm very excited about. I actually did start a list. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell and share. I'd really, really appreciate that.